This right here is my perfect video. It's my favorite F1 driver driving my favorite car at my favorite track. Nothing gets better than this. But just because it's my favorite F1 car doesn't mean it's the only car that I like. So in today's video, we're going to be driving my 20 favorite F1 cars around my favorite F1 track in Sir Lagos. The grid for today, I tried to base this off from slowest to fastest. I think I might be wrong. But um, here's the grid. The Jordan 191, the Ferrari 641, the Toyota TF109, the STR5, the C31, the McLaren MP4 23, the Ferrari F10, the Red Bull RB9, me in the Ferrari of 2007, the Williams FW19, the Red Bull RB9, the FW25, the McLaren MP4 20, the R25, the RB12, the MCL33, the F175, SF70H, the Mercedes W09, and the Mercedes W11. Kind of basic that the fastest car in F1 history is in my top 20 favorites. Yeah, whatever. So here we go. It's a 10 lap race, and we're starting in the middle of the pack in P9. Alright, here we go. Lined up on the grid. Lights out. Alright, Vilna have got a better start. Alright, heading into turn 1, the Senna S's. There, right. Nice, kept it clean. Now, as good as a set of Corsa is as a sim, I absolutely despise the contact system, so minor collisions, I'll try my best to avoid them. I mean, I'm in a Red Bull sandwich right there. RB9, no, no. Oh, what happened to you, Lewis? See what I mean? They're just really bouncy. Like, they don't... It seems like they don't absorb impact with another car or the ground. They just seem to, like, bounce off each other. That's how the contact system is like in this game. And F1 2016, I should have mentioned that in my previous video. Shouldn't I? Locking up there, that's fine. I'm not really paying attention to this lap, so... Uh, I probably should start paying attention then. Because you have a certain one Pablo Montoya behind us in a much faster car. Well, it's no FW26, but it's still a pretty fast one. As he gets past, and you're stuck in some Jordan traffic, which is good. I'm hearing a whole lot of sounds right now, and I love it. All right, he overtakes Hamilton. All right, switcheroo. No, it doesn't work. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. No, you're blocking my line, Lewis, mate. Oh, sorry, mate. Oh, okay. Thank God I avoided that, but I also lost another position in the process, so that was pretty much useless. All right, we have Stoffel Van Dorn behind. As much as I love this car, I'm not really liking the handling of this VRC mod. To be fair, this is some of their earlier work. They've definitely, definitely gotten better over the years, so yeah, I'll give them that. All right, Stoffel, don't do anything dumb as there's a car there. I don't recognize who that is. It might be the Toro Rosso, as I had a massive lockup through there. No, Stoffel, my Belgian brother. We're friends. Well, not really. I don't know if Kimi and Stoffel actually ever met up and talked to each other. Oh, no. W09 is here. Brace yourselves, kids. I think it's actually the fastest car around this track out of all of these cars. Who has the record? 2019 Verstappen or 2018 Hamilton? No, you do not. I hate you. No, I don't hate you. I love you, Stoffel. Please take a picture of me in Singapore this weekend. Next weekend, I mean. Why am I having troubles overtaking a Jordan 191? Okay, no, buddy. I absolutely hate you. The Arnold Trilly and the TF109 having the time of his life. Now I've had the time of my life and I've never felt this way before. Mate, that Jordan's insane on the straights. Come on. You okay? That was really dangerous, but whatever. All right, we're into P7 now. There's a damn 641 there. That's not good. Mate, truly doesn't even need to cause a train. He's leading the whole thing. Come on, anything to Jun Sao? Nope, not quite. Brazilians, is that the correct or incorrect pronunciation of Jun Chao, Jun Sao, whatever? Screw you, I don't know Portuguese. All right, there you go, Montoya with the fastest lap in the 2003 Williams FW25. All right, drag race now. Come on, Senna S. Don't make contact. As I had a massive lock up there, I made contact. No. Oh, what an overtake around the outside of Kobayashi. 
The W09 can't fathom the straight line speed of the Renault R25. I didn't I see the proximity arrow that Kobayashi was still there. Oh, look at that exit speed of the W09. He's into P7. Sorry, Prost. Let me take that position off you, mate. There you go. Or I'm just gonna let you buy because there's no point defending you. Although there's an RV6 to catch, which I'm actually struggling a bit right now. I shouldn't have went for a heavy fuel load. Van Dorn, okay. I think it's no man's land for the rest of the race. Oh no, the F-175's catching. No, Charles, we're friends, remember? 115.6, that is not good. All right, time for mega push mode. That was not a good idea. Oh no, too deep there. Please don't overtake me, Charles. All right, it's over, lads. Wallahi, I'm finished. Oh no, all right, slipstream. Yo, you have DRS, that's not fair. Okay, surprised that the F-175 has actually caught up to us right before the W-11, who's right behind me right now. And I'm just gonna be falling down the order from here on out because the cars behind me are much faster, apart from the slower cars who I've already overtaken. Yup, okay, just great, mate. All right, you know what? I'm gonna defend from the W-11 as much as I can, like so. Yeah, all right. That was a good defense. I'm doing what Alonso did in Brazil last year. All right, I'm having fun with this. But I don't want to back Kobayashi into us, so that's another issue. Oh, no, that was not good. Don't leave any open room. How is he struggling? I'm not even looking at the road at this point. I'm just looking at my mirrors. Oh, crap. Ah, oh, that's it. That was it. That was it. That was fun while it lasted trying to defend him. Well, I can try pushing again because my ultra defense mode is over. Stolfo Van Dorn's in the lead. No, what have you done to Yarno Truly Man? My Pookie Bear. Oh, I think that might be the SF70H. All right, we gotta pray that 2017 Ferrari doesn't get to us because my tires are on its last legs. But on a real note, how hasn't it passed more cars yet? That doesn't make sense to me at all. Maybe it's spun or something. Once he's a second within me, I'm gonna start going ultra defense mode. I'm losing a lot of time to sector two because that car is just much superior than this one on this section of track. But I've actually been able to contain it without slowing down a lot. Here we go, Stoffel Van Dorn one. I think Trolley's P2 or is it uh, the W09? We have to see. As I successfully hold back this uh, SF70H. I mean, cross the line. The 113.2, okay. Hiya! Now that was actually pretty fun. Well, I guess it's time to conclude the video. Well, I guess we learned that in future Assetto Corsa videos, I have to turn the aggression slider up because I think the cars here were a bit too not aggressive. Like um, the W11 trying to pass me, or maybe that's just an issue with that car because the Renault R25 was pretty aggressive, I would say, throughout the race. But um, yeah, let me know what I should do next. I kind of want to do my top 20 least favorite F1 cars or the top 20 F1 cars that I don't like at all. Or my favorite F1 car of the last 20 years. Again, that would be uh, really cool as well. But you already know some of them since they're in this video. Well, thanks for watching. And I'm really hyped for these next two videos I'm going to drop next week for the Singapore Grand Prix. So yeah.